So guys, as you can see, we have a light here. So I've been getting hit up for a long time now, basically a couple years, um, random people hit me up in my email asking me if I wanna try their product and this and that. And there's not really many out there that seem to even kind of work with anything that I do or anything that I want to do. Um, but this year there's actually been like three back to back recently. So this is one of them. I don't really know how to say the name properly, but Sinoton, Sinoton? They basically sent me a link to their website and said, um, pick something that you'd like, something that you think you'd want, and we'll send it to you. So here we are. My garage has very crappy lighting. So I picked this. Oh, and this is like a safety in case it falls, I guess. That's cool. Um, it's got a hook as well if you want to put a hook up. But... Oh, yeah, so that like goes in that. We'll figure out how we're going to mount this in the garage. But this thing is supposed to put out like some extreme light. And I just have like, I have the, the regular like garage motor bulb and then one other bulb in there. And it's absolutely terrible. It's not good for pretty much anything. So um, today we're actually getting out in the garage. We're putting up a basically a rail storage system for all the, the, the yellow top boxes you guys see at Lowe's, like the bins. So I figured we might as well toss this in uh, while we're doing that. And I'll drop the link down below. I will have a discount code, I believe, or at least my own special link um, by the time this goes live. So just be sure to check down there in the description if you're interested in any of this. They have all types of different lighting systems. I think I'm gonna get like a couple more of these depending on how this goes, we're about to go find out. But this one just plugs in right into an outlet or you can chop this and it shows in the instructions and you cut this and pull the wires out and you can wire it directly into the wall or ceiling or whatever. So you don't have to always have a cord or an outlet nearby uh, to be able to use this. And with this type thing, I think you could like put this on a tripod as well if you wanted to, um, to make it kind of more portable and like, angly um yeah that's all i got shout out to them for uh hitting me up and sending this over i didn't pay a penny for this so i and i'm gonna give you my honest review we're gonna go out there and throw it up cut i'll show you guys what the old lights look like with the darkened garage and then we'll we'll throw this on and see what we think and we also have a company hit me up about like uh what do they call like interior smelly things what do you call them like just like sensey type things that go in the vents or whatever. Those are coming. And then uh, the company that I did a video for before for um, like road cameras, they, they have a new like 4K super nice unit that we will be getting here soon as well. So a couple sponsored videos coming. Good start to 2024. Don't know when this video is coming out, but either right before this or right after this, you guys see we have this giveaway with uh, the Asian garage. So uh, pretty cool. Pretty nice uh, start to the year. Some free stuff, some giveaways. Can't argue with that. Let's go to the garage. And if you guys are curious about any of the information here, so I was talking about, you could wire it right in, uh, ways to hang it, and then uh, some electrical information size stuff, so. All right, guys, so you can see it's kind of a mess. All these boxes are gonna wind up going on the ceiling here shortly, but this is about as much light as we get, let me go wide, okay. So if we turn off, that's as much as we get just with that light. Let me turn that one off. Doesn't really change anything. So now let's, uh, let's go to the big light. Holy crap. Talk about an upgrade. Shoo! And we just have it, you can kind of see it's just right into there. And I got the safety on there as well. Talk about bright. That is so much better. Now, I want to get like four of these total. I'd like to have one in each corner or something. Have them all kind of facing towards the center. Maybe leave this one too. Maybe get four more or something. We have to like hard. There's no other outlets for them. The only thing bad about this garage is its lack of outlets. But uh, I think we could wire them in somehow. Get an electrician on here. It shouldn't be too hard. That's uh, it's pretty awesome. That little, I mean, it's not little. God, don't even look at it. It like blinds you. <laughs> wow. Pretty sick, guys. I must say, the only thing I can't figure out, at least at this very moment, 
is how to turn it off. It's not, uh, can you hit some buttons over there? Maybe, no, because that garage, because it's the same, yeah. We'd have to wire it in to the same um, switch as the light. So we'd have to cut the plug off and run it to the same power source as that light. We could probably run a couple lights off that. I'd have to look or talk to somebody who actually knows what they're doing to, uh, to do that. Because we could probably run all the lights to maybe one or whatever source that comes from. Um, as of right now, though, when you plug it in, it turns on. You don't have a way to turn it off. I don't see any other, I don't see any switches on it or anything, but whatever. I'm not really all that concerned. This thing's dope. Very cool. Very nice. <laughs> well, I don't know really what else to say. It's a, it's a light and it's bright and it works. Uh, two thumbs up there. If I could give you two, two, one, two. <laughs> it's a nice light. Awesome. Now, like I said, links will be down below and, uh, and, uh, just a little side part of the video. We just made these today to put all these bins up. You know, we can take these bins off the shelf, have more room for parts and tools. And then in the office, we can take all the boxes that are in there and put them also up here. That way we actually have usable office space now. Super excited. And this light made this uh, a lot easier to do today. Uh, you know, compared to uh, what crappy lighting we had before, this is just amazing. All right, check out how bright the garage is now. Holy heck. Right, I'm gonna do the same clip and unplug it and show you guys the regular light, cause this is crazy. We're gonna actually be able to like, kind of detail the cars in the garage now. Like normally we're having to break out like, you know, an external light that isn't that great and mount it like on the wall or, you know, with a magnet somewhere or something. This is awesome. This is sick. And when the garage is closed, you know, more light will be able to come towards the front of the cars, which, you know what, we'll do that right now, because I'm curious how it looks. I'll have to open the garage again here. Whoa, I can actually see the front of the car. It's not so dark. That's so awesome. I'm stoked. Yo, this thing's legit for one light. Dude. I'm, I'm legitimately stoked. Like, this is not, uh, not a paid stokeness, <laughs> I promise. Heck yeah. All right, let me show you guys what it normally looks like. All right, so this is what we're normally working with. Like, it's okay, but it's, you know, nothing. Nothing. And then, like, how dark it is on the hood area. God, camera kind of brightens it up. But it's like, you know... Not ideal. Well, let me open the garage. Get you guys one more clip. I'm supposed to be out in the truck right now. Leaving. Taking the daughter out to... What's it called? Dave and Buster's or whatever the heck. They call it here in Texas. Look at the difference. I mean, this looks like dog water. Wow. Awesome. Super awesome. I'm definitely going to buy more, I think. Probably get one. At least one for each corner. And then have this one. And then maybe, because we normally have the garage door up if I'm working on things. So putting one in the front corners doesn't really make sense. But the back corners, kind of like facing, you know, obviously out, that would look really good. 